Well, like many weather-related disaster events, there's not an easy one alternative fits all answer because each operation obviously is unique. In general terms, it's not a good economic decision to keep a cow that's lost a calf for another year. One year's production costs have not been covered. And then if you keep the cow and hope she rebreeds and successfully raises a calf, the next year is very risky. So after the necessary drug withdrawal period and drying up the cow, marketing may be the best option. And of course, moisture conditions may make the decision easier. Last year, for example, producers in drought areas were forced to liquidate cows and uh, reduce stocking rates. And so cows without calves were the obvious choice to sell. And uh, right now, cows without a calf, they were going to be called, sold in the fall anyway, and now don't have a calf. Uh, selling them now, prices are higher. October is always a seasonal low in prices. For producers with sufficient pasture available, the first step, bar none, is to schedule an appointment with your lender. The call call markets increase seasonally to the highest level in several years, but there's a wide range in prices that cull cows bring, and due to their quality and dressing percentages, uh, good cow calls may bring $1,000 now, and in some instances, Bread cows or bread heifers may be available for a few hundred dollars more. So purchasing a bread cow or heifer now would allow the calf to be sold this fall and proceeds could cover the additional cost of the purchased cow. Plus I may uh, pay some of the additional costs, uh, production costs that a calfless cow would not provide. So depending on how many calves were lost, the decision may not be an all or none decision possibly replacing a portion of the cows that lost calves with purchased cows would be the best option. And uh, be sure to check with your auction market before you send cattle you normally wouldn't market at this time. And again, consult with your lender. They're likely dealing with the same issue with other producers. There are many, many outside factors affecting the market right now. For instance, 60% of the beef cow herd, the U.S. beef cow herd is in drought. Feed costs are high. COVID impacts linger. The Russian-Ukraine war is causing unprecedented uncertainty and chaos in the markets. But I want to remind everybody the U.S. beef cow herd has declined for three years, likely again this year. So when things settle down here, cyclic higher prices are expected for the next several years so it'd be a good idea to position yourself for that. Mm -hmm.